I think you're the perfect person to bring this up with. From a psychology aspect, one of the, the biggest negatives that I've heard from video games, besides like, you know, oh, you know, being lazy and X, Y, Z, it was always the, they always looked at a game like a shooter game, like a Call of Duty, like a Grand Theft Auto. And I'm sure you've heard this before. And they say, oh, you know, games of that nature make people more, more violent. They can make you more prone to aggression. Well, what are your thoughts on that? So this, will, this is purely my opinion. Mm -hmm. and will be of course, of course, any, of course. Any researcher uh, is not backed up. Yeah, all. yeah, no worries. No but worries, um, I think that claim um, is relatively false. Um, I don't believe on itself or by itself that video games would cause um, an aggr you know, uh, increased aggression. You know, I, for one, uh, even though the choices were there to say, you know, have those aggr you know, aggressive choices in video games, especially in role-playing games, mm -hmm. um, I found it super difficult. Most of my characters I played to the way I am. You know, I, I found it very hard to say, choose the evil path or the, you know, the dark side path. I could never do it. I just didn't have the heart for it. <laughs> for sure. But in games like Call of Duty uh, or Call of Duty, I, um, you know, it comes down to, um, you know, being aware of different social norms, I'd say. And we are aware of what this is a video game. And you, when you get to that certain age, you know, that's why a lot of uh, mature games are for mature audiences mm -hmm. is because you're able to differentiate what is appropriate uh, in the real world and what is acceptable because this is a game and knowing that this is a game and I can't take this out into the real world. You know, there were definitely games when I was growing up where, uh, you know, you might, you know, grade five or whatever, you know, out on the field at lunchtime where we're running around, you know, karate chopping each other and somebody gets hurt and it's like, oh, maybe we shouldn't have been that aggressive. It's mm -hmm. not like the game. But as you get older, um, that sort of starts to, you know, you, that starts to click in that like, okay, this is a game. It's probably not uh, a good idea to do that in real life. You know, if you get those Grand Theft Auto types, Call of Duty, um, and that as it is. So, but one of the big questions, because I have looked at the topic, and one of the big uh, one of the big things around video games is, are kids predisposed to aggressive tendencies more likely to play aggressive video games, or do they cause or do they cause aggression? So that is kind of the big debate on this issue right now. Um, does A cause B? Does B cause A? Or is there that intervening variable that's out there that's uh, uh, it direct, indirectly affecting both those outcomes? I'm really glad you brought that up, Brandon. I'm really glad you brought that up, my friend. You're right, because it really is a, you know, a genetic predispositions definitely have a, have a part to play. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, I mean, there's, there's genetic predispositions. There's social and environmental mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. upbringing all of that comes in that it's very, very, very difficult to conclude, um, does video games, you know, are they specifically responsible for aggression in children, adolescents into, you know, teenage years?